Hey, I'm back. Guess what I got from the store? Well, actually, it's more like four different stores. Yeah, it's a lot, but trust me, it's worth it. Nope, not coffee. I mean, I did get coffee too. You could never have enough coffee. It's just, like, needed for basic survival. But that's not the main thing. Yes, I also got paper towels. I actually didn't forget this time. But still, that's not the surprise. Give up? <laughs> I got pumpkin spice everything. I went to the store and brought every single pumpkin spice product that I could find. What? Tis the season, you know. The seasons of sweaters, falling leaves, and overpriced Halloween costumes. Also known as the season of basic. <laughs> I bet that's what rent would call it if it was written today. Hmm. 525,600 pumpkins. <laughs> See? You don't have to change the last line. It's a great concept. Young girl moves to the city, but can only get a job working at Starbucks in the middle of their fall rush. Eventually, she finds herself, gets a boyfriend, and discovers the joy of non-dairy creamer. The thing practically writes itself. I'm not crazy. Trust me. There's an audience for it. Anything autumn-themed is all the rage right now, or whatever. Besides, I'm pretty sure that the Venn diagram of people who like pumpkin spice and people who like musicals is basically a circle. So, I'm calling it now. Sweater weather, the musical, will be the next big Hamilton. <laughs> no, I didn't get all the pumpkin spice products to inspire my musical genius, although it is certainly helping. Nope, I want to try them all. And by I, I mean we. I need a comrade in this gourd-busting adventure. I don't trust my taste buds to navigate these uncharted waters alone. After all, I'm a monster who likes pineapple on pizza. I am clearly not fit to judge the entire world of pumpkin spice on my own. I promise, it'll be fun. We can even rank them all if you want. Oh, don't worry about how much money I spend on all this stuff. It will be all worth it once we know, once and for all, if pumpkin marshmallows are really worth eating. Come on, we can even make it a game. What kind of game? I don't know. We make a wheel with all the products listed on it. You would have to spin it and see which one you get. Fun, right? Okay, maybe that's too much work. Let's see what else we could do. Ooh, I've got it. Let's make it into a game of truth or dare. Except dare will be pumpkin spice. So, you either have to answer a question truthfully or try a pumpkin spice product. See? It's perfect. Way less set up with all the same pumpkin flavor. So, what do you say? Want to play truth or pumpkin spice? Oh, it's not that ridiculous. Anyway, you once wanted to play Never Have I Ever with sriracha sauce, and we both know how that turned out. Actually, I think my mouth is still burning a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. You have to admit that you owe me after that one. Please? Pretty please? Yes! Okay, okay. So, truth or pumpkin spice? Yes, you should go first. That way, you'll be able to pick your favorite item. Wait, which thing are you grabbing? The pumpkin spice Oreos? Oh, hand me one too. What? There's no rule that says I'm not allowed to eat the stuff on your turn. Searching every shelf in four stores for pumpkin spice products really works up an appetite. Mmm. Oh, wow. That was good. It's like a pumpkin pie in cookie form. I give it an 8 out of 10 on the basic bitch scale. How about you? Nine? Nice. Hey, no getting seconds. 
We need to pace ourselves. We can't risk angering the pumpkin spice gods by failing to honor all of their wonderful offerings to us. We must respectfully try each dish before partaking in more. Yes, there are rules. I'm pretty sure that pumpkin spice is a religion at this point, given its vast following. And I don't want some white chicken Ugg books to come here and beat me up. So, step away from the Oreos. Anyway, it's my turn now. I pick... Truth. One? Yeah, I want to try pumpkin-flavored stuff, but it's not a game if we don't pick sometimes truth. In fact, I'm pretty sure it would also anger the pumpkin spice gods if we broke the rules for a arbitrary game that we just made up. <laughs> because... reasons. Okay, okay. I'll shut up if you ask me a question. Why are you the best roommate? <laughs> That's kind of a presumptive question, isn't it? Maybe just a bit? I would challenge you on that one. But you're right. You're my favorite roommate. Although, to be fair, your only competition was my cousin, and he was in a polka band. So yeah... You're the best roommate because you don't own an accordion or hold band practice at 11 p.m. on Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, a win by default is still a win. What? I answered. Okay, fine. You're also the best roommate because... Because you're funny and sweet and kind and caring. You're always willing to listen to me and help with whatever I'm going through. You cheer me up when I'm feeling down, and you're always excited when something good happens for me. Plus, you put up with my corny jokes and random ideas. Trust me, I couldn't get most of my friends to play Truth or Pumpkin Spice with me. <laughs> Although, most of my friends wouldn't have recommended Never Have I Ever with Sriracha Sauce either, so... I guess that's another reason why you're so awesome. There. How was that for an answer? Hey, no. No compliment dodging. You're the one who wanted to open up these floodgates. If I'm dealing them out, you're taking them. Nope. Knock it off or I'll make it a pumpkin spice rule. Yes, I have the power to do that. I bought all the pumpkin spice products, which makes me the pumpkin spice god. At least, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. And if not, it should, because you deserve those compliments. Yes, you do. Trust me, if I had any power to make you accept every compliment that you've ever received, I would absolutely do it. It would be my first act as your pumpkin spice overlord. The second act would probably be banished to this pumpkin spice flavored spam because it kind of makes me weep for the future of humanity. Just... why? No way, I'm not trying it. I'd rather have the taste of sriracha stuck in my mouth for the next three months than to eat this monstrosity. Besides, if I recall correctly, it's your turn. So, you can try it if you're so curious. I promise I won't ask for a bite this time. No? You're picking truth? Probably a wise choice. Let's see. For truth, you have to accept my compliments. What? Yes, that counts for truth. My compliments were all true. Therefore, you would be admitting something true. It still works. You still have to tell the truth. Nuh-uh, I'm not giving you another question. If you don't want to admit it, you can always choose pumpkin spice instead. You'll have to pick the spam, though. Because otherwise, it will upset the pumpkin spice god. Yes, the pumpkin spice god is still me. I'm also curious what it tastes like, but I really don't want to try it myself. Come on. You've also got to be wondering how bad this is. Okay, how about this? I'll try the 
horrifying spam if you accept my compliments. And I mean really accept them. No shrugging it off. Deal? Okay, let's shake on it. Ready? <sighs> okay, hand me a fork. Oh, hey, this actually isn't that... No, no, it's awful. It's like meat-scented flavored candles. <coughs> <coughs> Ew, black god. Okay, now it fucking admit that you're a good person. Blech. You mean it? Good. <sighs> that was completely worth it. Yeah, because I love you. Wait, I, I, I mean, I care about you. <laughs> Wait, did, did you say love? Because if you said love, then I'm... I, I guess you did say love. I love you too. I have for a while. It was just awkward because we're roommates and I didn't want to make you feel uncomfortable or anything. I- you're comfortable right now? Uh, good. <laughs> uh, are you still accepting compliments? Because I think I have a few more. <laughs> Wait, my breath doesn't smell like pumpkin spice spam, does it? <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> nah, we can try the rest of them later. I think we have some more important things to catch up on tonight. <laughs>